Hello beautiful Libra friends, welcome to my channel, Tarot by the Intuitive Teacup. That is me, my name's Annie. So happy to have all you Libras out there with me today. Welcome to the newbies. Welcome back to the returning subscribers. I appreciate you all. Um, this is going to be your November monthly tarot reading. So happy November. I hope you had a beautiful October, a happy Halloween, a happy Scorpio season. We are headed into Sag season in a bit. So yeah, let's see what messages want to come through for my Libras out there. Majority of these messages are going to be about career, money, finances, jobs, anything that wants to come through there. At the very tail end, I will throw in some messages about love and romance and relationships. I will try to remember to timestamp that below, so if you want to hop right to it, it should say down below there. <laughs> Memory pending. <laughs> All right, so Libra, what's up? How you been? I hope you guys are good. As always, guys, here on YouTube, general messages is what I spin out for you, so that means not everything I say will be your message. You need to come into this reading with an open heart and an open mind, but ultimately I ask that you use your logic, your discernment, as well as your intuition to separate messages that um, motivate you, empower you, inspire you, resonate with you, first and foremost. Everything else pushed to the side. It doesn't mean it won't make sense later on, um, but if it's not your message, and that sometimes will be the case, please do have faith it's going out to someone else who needs to hear it, okay? Um, so those are my general guidelines. It is my goal, my aim, my intention that many of these messages will resonate for a, a majority of my Libras out there. So we'll see what we can get. Um, don't be offended if it's not your message, okay? It won't be every time. So just bear that in mind. But yeah, I hope lots and lots of it resonates. That's what I would love. Ooh, you got a divine pairing, Libra. I'm into it. So I am reading for career and finances, but this is a good match in any sense of the word. So it could be business partnership. It could be you and your boss. It could be you and your creative collaborator. It could be you and your husband, your wife, your best friend. You, you have a divine pairing there. Not to mention the high priest so um, or the hierophant, um, which is kind of the same thing. But <clears throat> possibly a Taurus doesn't have to be. But hell yeah, Libra. It's going places too. I can't wait to jump in. Hold on. Few more shuffles before I start reading your entire spread here. This looks pretty good. All right, Libra, Libra, Libra. Happy belated birthday. I know I'm a few seasons behind, but why not? If I didn't catch you last time, happy birthday, Libra. I hope it was a good one. <clears throat> All right. See, that wanted to come out earlier. Very interesting. That was bottom of your deck. I'm going to keep it off to the side because that's sort of where it fell. So I'm kind of honoring that that's where it's supposed to stay. Give me one more card for Libra, career, money, and finances. Oh, too many. Give me one more card, career, money, and oh, the Page of Cups wants to be seen. I love when they do that, like in the deck. It's just like, me, me, pick me. <laughs> you have to go searching for it. You have to go digging for the Page of Cups. So I'm wondering if you, okay, I think that's symbolic. You may have passed by an offer that it was there, but you had to look closer. You Like literally, I had to go in my deck and pull it out. Like I saw a flash of it. So some of you may be having almost like visions or dreams of something, or even if this represents a job offer or something, and especially because it's a page, it means it's not brand new. The idea has passed by before, or perhaps you've networked with this person or reached out to them at some point. Something may be coming back in, and it's a very, a very good offer. Page of Cups, it's something that would... Um, uh, promote happy emotions. It would bring you joy. It would bring you satisfaction. It could be possibly lucrative, right? Money or um, cups rather in a financial spread can be indicative of what your bank account holds, right? The cups, the money flow, the currency. Um, so interesting. You have two pages. You may have decisions or options coming in. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's let's dig in deeper. So bottom of your deck is the Empress. Oh, yeah. There you are, Libra. Um, so this is uh, Venus energy, right? It's indicative of Taurus and Libra, which we know we got some Libras in the house. Uh, and you do have a couple cards of Taurus as well. So I don't know if that's at all in your birth chart. Maybe you have a Taurus moon or a Taurus rising. Maybe this represents someone you're going to meet. It doesn't have to. I'm just throwing it out there for those who maybe you're married to a Taurus, right? I'm um, just putting it out there. So let's hop into what, the, what these cards are actually saying for your money and career. Um, <clears throat> so the very first card out is assessment. Do I stay or do I go? The seeds I've planted, am I going to start seeing the results of them? Will I start seeing the buds, you know, popping up from the earth? Or is this sort of like a... <clears throat> like swing and a miss. Did I plant seeds in land that wasn't fertile? Or yeah, I'm almost getting all these metaphors like, did I plant seeds, but they were the wrong ones. So what I got from it wasn't what I was hoping for or anticipating. Was it a lousy year this, or was it a lousy kind of crop season, right? Speaking in metaphor, Tara speaks in metaphor, guys, right? So yeah, this, there's something about contemplation here about leaving a job that you've been very committed to, something that you've been working at for qu either quite some time. It could also be that you were promised commitment on their end regarding uh, promotion or title change or increase in funds or more responsibility. 
Whatever it is, it seems like you're starting to question if there was actually truth behind it. It seems like what you're running from is commitment. It could certainly be a career that's more spiritual or something where you are the leader or a public speaker. But what I'm getting from this is, and I say that because he's kind of like the head honcho, right? So for a few of my Libras where this is you, you are the woman or the man or whoever is kind of almost conducting the orchestra, if you will, right? If this is you, it seems like you're wanting to step away from it because there's just no passion in it for you anymore. Maybe you've tired yourself out or it's just not, it's not what it used to be. Something has changed, right? Especially my teachers out there, professors, or again, something where you stand in front of a group and preach, you know, that sort of thing. If this is not you, I think for a lot of my Libras, this is more the main message coming through. You are at a job or were at a job where it was very solid. There was a, you at least saw it as a career with great longevity. And I'm not saying there isn't. In fact, I think a lot of you have been there for several years, but I think you were promised or, or there was the indication that at some point in time you would step up and be the main honcho or, or however you want to say it, you would step up and, and be that leader. You would take on roles and responsibilities that were, you know, climbing the corporate ladder, so to say, that sort of thing, even if it's not, you know, corporate. But I think the longer you were there, you were like, well, when is this going to happen? Like, I thought I would be a manager at this point, or I thought I would be, um, in a different, uh, pay bracket at this time or something. So I think what you're questioning is, are they going to make good on this promise? It's almost like the commitment or the contract you signed up for, you're starting to question like, was there truth behind it? And like, I, or some of you are like, I should have gotten it in writing. Some of you, this may even have to do with a court case. Um, uh, but yeah, they're, they're like, there's something a little bit fishy or shady. Um, and it's not necessarily proven. I think right now it's just, there's the thought of malintent or maybe that's too harsh a word. There's the thought of like trickster energy. It's like they're, they're taking you for a ride, that kind of expression. It could be with a Taurus or somebody who they hold a very high ranking position. They're absolutely in authority and, and very powerful. It's like, you know, everybody works under them. Um, and yeah, I think you're starting to question, is this the spot for me? Two, two sevens, sen sevens are always contemplation cards. So this is more mentally, and this is probably thinking more about either the money or what you're getting out of it that helps to build your life. So is it paying your bills? Is it paying for your mortgage? Is it, you know, whatever it is, it's like, is the money there? And also pentacles can be our health. Is this good for my health? Specifically my mental health, right? Maybe you feel like you've had to compromise a great deal of, of your personal beliefs or desires in order to make this job work in your life. And I think the longer you're there, I, I, and I hate to go so negative, I'll certainly throw some cards on it, but it just kind of seems like you're moving away from it because you're like, this is not what I thought it would be. There's a sense of like... Um, not disillusionment, it's really the opposite, but like a light is being shed on the fact that what you thought you were getting, you have not gotten. In fact, there's there's no signs of it, really. There's either false promises or you feel like you're being strung along. So let's talk about that a little bit more. And this is one message, guys. If it's not your message, I'm going to go to some different ones. So stick around, even if this one isn't yours. But give me a little bit more on that. So if Libra is at all resonating with this, what is the uh, potential outcome of them either taking on a bigger role or a responsibility or stepping into this leadership role? It seemed like you were promised to be the next in line if this person retires or, or if this <laughs> sounds like the plot of a movie. What movie did I just watch that had that going on? <clears throat> I was watching Arachnophobia, <laughs> and it actually had to do with a doctor. He moved to some small little town thinking a doctor was going to retire, and he would take over all the clients and patients, and then he was like, eh, I'm still here for a bit. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that means something to someone. All right, so yeah, it could also be with a court case. Again, um, somebody who, who I, I'm sort of getting, it's like the way you have to swear on the Bible and put your hand on the Bible. Again, something in court. Uh, something that was established as absolute or promised or uh, a firm commitment. It could be, it could have been a business deal, and then you realize somebody was kind of sneaking, um, sneaking part of the potter or taking part of the money that that wasn't theirs. You know, like there's there's just shady behavior, and so some of you are going to enter into a court case. And I mean, I can't neglect the fact that you are in fact. Um, justice right that is your tarot card and so judication is coming up right so so something involving libra <clears throat> give me a little bit more on this it could have been something about publishing rights or something involving a written document or written documents it could have been someone taking on even like identity fraud or identity theft taking on 
uh, or even taking credit for where credit wasn't due, taking credit for things that somebody didn't um, actually produce on their own, and maybe you were the one who produced it and you're starting to catch on. <clears throat> It could also involve legal property of a house. Some, and that's sort of what I mean. Something that you have a long-term commitment to, you signed a contract to, you're starting to realize it's not as great as it sounded. It's like you got took, you got taken. And so if this isn't your story, just be careful, right? I never do fear-based readings, but if you're, you know, signing a new lease or signing a new job contract, make sure you read the fine print and whatever is most important to you in getting into this new position or this new place, make sure that is absolute. Like there's no wiggle room or uh, like creative wording on what you actually want. Because if there's any hesitation or confusion, I think the universe is saying, be careful because there, there's like a trickster energy around you regarding long-term commitments of any kind. And, and I mean, this can be the card of marriage too. So if you are considering building a life with someone, you know, going to the courthouse and getting married. And you already know that this person has had issues about fidelity or infidelity or kind of player type tendencies. Just be very certain that this is the one that you want to commit to. Because again, there's just something here that's a little bit uh, disarming or concerning, however you want to say it. So for others of you, you could be suing a landlord or something about property. Uh, it could be some sort of inheritance. Um, if that's the case, let's throw something on it. We'll, well, I, I'm, I'm being called to say the scales will probably lean in your favor if you are truly in the right. If you're the one who you're playing games and being sneaky, Libra, well, karma, karma. <laughs> And some of you just quite simply are moving into a new place because you realize where you currently are. It's and There may even be safety hazards there. And again, that's nothing for you to fear. You would already know about them. Yeah, a lot of you are deciding to leave, I think, quite quickly and go to a new place. That may have to do with a home or, again, a job. There's something, there's a misuse of power or an abuse of power here. And this person, it's like the... The clock is ticking on them. There's something about the universe knows what's going on and they're only going to get away from it for so long. So if you have somehow been contributing to someone who you know is abusing their power or a little bit crooked, I would say distance yourself from them as, as, as much as you can because I think this person is going to have a legal battle. I think this person is going to have a lawsuit of some kind, even if it's not you bringing it upon them. If you were at all connected to this, I would sever ties very quickly like and again i'm not trying to do fear-based readings but there's i hate to say it but there is like kind of a darker energy about this and you already know it you're already thinking it like something doesn't feel right that's your intuition you need to honor your intuition all right so if if libra is involved in any sort of legal battle could i get one or two cards regarding potential outcomes again these are general readings take it with a grain of salt but and then we're going to move on to a new message <laughs> there's a victory there's a victory regarding the person who is truly at fault. The person who wasn't watching where they were going, the one who misspoke or misstepped. It's like they're about to get hung. Do you know what I mean? So if this isn't you, and for most of you, I don't think it is, there is a victory in that it is just, it is fair, um, that the true... I almost want to say like villain, if you will, whoever is misusing power or stealing money, they're going to get caught. Like it will be, it will be served correctly. They will be brought or there will be justice. That's sort of what I'm, I'm getting. <clears throat> and there may even be recognition for the person who exposes the truth, the way she's sort of being crowned with like the laurels or the, you know, however you want to say it. This is a card of victory of recognition and achievement. I'm also getting, there's been, um, Someone who has acquired or accumulated a lot of power and praise, the, the rug is being swept under them because a lot of shady things that have happened in the past that have maybe uh, been um, swept under the rug, it's like they're being seen for the first time. Like this, this person will have their day in court. This person will, <laughs> they got to face the music. Uh, it's, it's like um, you made your own bed, now you have to lay in it. That's what I'm getting for, for this person. So just heads up, Libra, if that sounds like you, I would, I would be careful. I would not do that thing that you've been doing. All right, moving on, new messages. Let's talk about this. So this is where your divine pairing comes in. This uh, seems like a really kick-ass collaboration. It seems like you're sort of getting a little bit frustrated, though, with someone because you're trying to get their attention and you feel like they don't see you or they're ignoring you or they're not being as open-minded as you are. 
just simply because the way these are placed, it's like this, whether you're male or female, you are the Queen of Swords, Libra. That just is your card because it is the Cardinal Queen. Um, <clears throat> so you're looking at the King. And again, these two could work fantastically together. All is not lost. But you're facing him like, hey, come on, let's talk about this. And he's like stone cold. He's more future thinking where I think you're more in the moment now. Like, hey, let's look around. Let's, it's like, let's be aware of what's going on now. Let's stop projecting into the future. Let's, let's deal with what we have now in front of us. I sense a mild point of frustration between you, but here's the thing. I think you guys can clear the air and move on happily. Uh, once you get through a little bit of, it could be a small argument. I'm not getting like warring and chaos. Um, but yeah, and I will pull cards on it, but this is a very good outcome for if these two are having issues at all, and maybe this is your best friend, maybe this is a parent-child dynamic, whatever it is, both people are very headstrong, um, but remember that what can kind of smooth over any sort of um, argument or just kind of some nagging energy is speaking with your heart as well as with your intellect, right? Sometimes it's a head over heart decision, vice versa. These two got the intellectual uh, realm on lock, right? They, they think, they think correctly. They're very intelligent. They're very headstrong. What we need to mix in the solution here is a little bit more empathy, a little bit more compassion, a little bit more kindness. Libra, I'm not worried about you because you're ruled by Venus, so you naturally have that gift of being more open and receptive. It's this king of swords, and it doesn't have to be a male, but it likely is, potentially a male air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who's a little bit more headstrong or a little bit more, it's not even heads, I mean, it is, but for me, it's like they're lacking the warmth that you're you're trying to bring to this partnership. So maybe this is marriage, right? It's very possible. You have someone who's a little bit more cutting, a little bit more cold, a little bit less considerate, and it doesn't mean that they're an evil person. They just have different goals in mind. It's like they have some, they're very focused on the future. Something is coming up on the horizon. What are, what is the deal with this King of Swords? He wants to transform something because he's worried that uh, he's worried about money. Or he's going, th uh, and I don't know if you would know this depending on your relationship to this King of Swords. Again, it could be your boss. He may have lost someone very close to him in his life. He may be going through a very difficult time um, regarding a, a, a personal relationship in his life. There could be an argument. Like, I always say, like, everybody's fighting their own battle that we all know nothing about. So maybe you know, especially if this is husband and wife or, or whoever, husband and husband. It doesn't have to be a gender thing. But you might not. If this is a coworker or a best friend, and, and it's, that's sort of what I get. It's not that you guys don't work well together but recently they've been cold or distant you're like what's the deal are, are you know are they getting cold feet on me are they going to back out of the project or the deal they're not they're fighting some sort of battle on on their own and i'm not exactly sure what it is but i guess i would say this is not the time for you to come in with like uh the sword and poke the bear if anything you need to practice more compassion and empathy because again there's something here that you don't totally know about and i don't really think it has to do with you to be honest i think it has to do with an external circumstance <clears throat> so give me one on this where where are they headed you're headed from rocky and rough waves emotions um relationships to smooth sailing and so for some of you this could even be a difficult client if that's the case for some of you it's a one and done deal. Like once you get through it with this person, you can move on and you won't experience that same sort of frustration or I don't know if it's backlash. What is the um, opposition is sort of what I'm getting. Like every time, every time you try and move something forward, there's like a, an obstacle and it may have to do with this person being indecisive or negating what you're doing or contradicting it or being like, well, let's just, it, it's like, you feel like they're going, shh. Every time you speak or every time you every time you try and make a move, you feel like there's opposition here. You're going to take you're going to come into power over this king. I can already sense it. It might not happen immediately, but especially if this is a rival at work or a coworker who you guys are forced to work together, your career is going to skyrocket over theirs. I don't know why I'm getting that. I just am. This is a nuisance, but a, a necessary obstacle for you to come into your power and your strength because something about facing this challenge or uh, the, the challenge that this person is presenting, it's really at times making you question your self-worth, make you question your ideas. This to me is saying like, you don't even know, like this is a, a, a necessary obstacle the universe is throwing at you for you to step into your power and, and stick to your guns, to stand your ground and be like, no, I think we should do it this way. And here's why you're not being cruel. You're not being mean, but it's like, I'm t <laughs> Mr. President, I'm talking. That's what this feels like. <laughs>
<laughs> that's exactly what this feels like. Taking back the mic, like, no, I'm not done. Like, you need to hear me out. And again, it's it's a little bit forceful, but it's necessary. You're not being cruel. You're not being uh, crazy. It's You have something very important to, to contribute or to share or whatever. And this person... They're annoying. <laughs> Even if this is a husband-wife situation, it's like they are they, they can't get their head out of their ass. But I'm also sympathetic to it because, again, there's a reason why they're acting this way, but I think they're projecting some frustration or sadness onto you. They're not dealing with this personal matter in a high vibrational way, and so they're coming into work kind of moody, kind of oppositional, and so unfortunately you're getting the brunt of that. So just know that in advance. So where where is this headed, please? They're icy cold. They're cold. In fact, some of them are going to be moving to a cold area or they may have a business deal that takes them to... I don't know why I'm getting that, but I actually am. Something about uh, the, the ground is frozen. And I think that is symbolic in itself is because if these messages are correlated, it's like you can't get the seeds to grow properly because the ground is not fertile right now. It's not the right time for this collaboration to, to take off in, in beautiful ways. Because, yeah, there's something about it. There's a disagreement. You guys do not see eye to eye right now. You, you quite literally are seeing things from a different perspective. So no wonder you're not on the same page. Someone is going to get a job offer that takes them out of this workplace or or removes them from the project. Some of them may get jury duty, actually. Interesting. And I mean, I, I'm not saying this is absolutely true, but this could be the same person, someone who's abusing power. I have to be honest, I'm not getting that same kind of icky vibe from this card that I was in this story with the whole like like shady dealings. They could be related, but even in a lesser degree, or it could be a similar circumstance, but again, less severe. But it's possible that this person is carrying around a bunch of shame or guilt because they know that they didn't deal with something correctly. And so instead of admitting fault, they're being very headstrong and like, they're hurting on the inside, but they would never express it because they don't want to be vulnerable. This person is not offering apologies anytime soon It is sort of what I'm getting from that. So it's up to you how you want to deal with this, right? You can be, um, again, you can poke the bear. You, you can kind of, I don't want to say harass them, but nag them and try and get your way. Or you can take the opposite effect of like, okay, well, if you're not going to work with me, I'm just going to go right past you. Like I, like I am getting through that door, so you're either with me or you're not, but I am going there. And I think that's what you need. You need a sense of determination, and maybe this is a really um, beautiful way to get you to be more independent, especially if you have been reliant on a partner in any kind, whether it's in marriage or in a collaboration at work. If you're more of like a let's do it together, which is, you know, typical of my Libras, you guys are seventh house partnership, right? This may be a challenge for the universe to get you to understand no 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 you can do it alone you don't need this person you don't need this person's support permission you don't and I mean obviously you guys have to put this in context of what makes sense if this is your boss that's going to be tricky but it's not impossible it, it might be saying that in you need to be creative and how you're going to overstep this challenge or this obstacle but if you know in your heart what you're what you need or what you're trying to do is right is just as fair or could make the company more money especially anything involving land or real estate or property i just keep wanting to say that you have great ideas that are going to take you places i think some of you are going to start looking elsewhere i think you may start submitting your resume and if that's the case libra i am getting your resume at this new place or in a new department would be met with open arms like they would be thrilled to have you because you do have really good ideas it's just this this right now is like the bane of your existence there's someone in the mix here who just won't budge and by default it kind of seems to be impacting your ability to move forward with something but i think the universe is saying don't let it you need to find creative solutions to get past this person or to I'm not sure what the circumstance would be, but to work with them, but not depend on their output of ideas to the project because they're giving you nothing. This is the type of person who loves to criticize what you're not doing right, but they're not offering any contributions or, or solutions. Um, what is that term? Um, instead of giving you like helpful criticism, constructive criticism. This person is not doing that. They're, they're firing like these negative thoughts at you, but they're not offering the solutions to help. But you seem to be coming up with tons of ideas and I'm kind of seeing you whiteboarding. What if we do this and what if we do that? You are being solution oriented and this person is just like, that won't work. Ew, I don't like this, I don't like this. And so that's what I mean. This person, it, because their vibe is so low, 
they're not showing the universe that they deserve to succeed. It's kind of the opposite. You're showing up, even if this person is above you, you're showing up and far and away blowing them out of the water in terms of what you're contributing. So even though they're getting shot down, they're getting shot down by one person. I think you need to put this in perspective. This is not going to make or break your career. I know it may seem like that right now. The universe works in very mysterious ways. I, I'm just putting that out there. If this person keeps this up, there again, there might be something in their past that's going to slowly un unravel and sort of lead to their demise and I'm not making this person out to be evil per se it's going to be different for everyone right but what what this person is giving off right now to in general is is really low vibe and so the universe is ultimately going to teach them a lesson it, almost it, by by way of like a tower moment right like something is going to come apart where this person is forced to really stand up and an introspection look at themselves and the way they've been acting and how they've been acting towards others you however it seems like you're vibing quite high but i understand there's frustration here there's movement in your career life and there's there's positive news there's a message that comes and it's either you joining another company or i don't i don't know what this would be if you're submitting documents to a higher up or going i don't want to say behind someone's back but ultimately if you're if you're trying to get your project or document or contribution in the right hands you may have to sneak it past this person and get it into the right person's hands so that they can kind of see your contributions and validate wow libra has some really good ideas like somebody get that girl a job like <laughs> something like that there may be a recruiter reaching out to you trying to get you to um, join their team or like a headhunter or something like that it may involve a cancer and it may have an, uh, be an opportunity that involves travel yeah, do not give up. Um, but also know when the well is tapped. Like at some point you may realize it's not worth trying to work with this person because they're just, they're refusing. They're refusing any proposal or offer I have. So again, you're going to find creative outlets to, to get your voice heard or to say what you want to say. <clears throat> Yeah, you, you will keep standing your ground, absolutely. The Wounded Warrior, it hasn't been an easy battle, but she's still at her at her little standing post there. She's still showing up. She's getting out of bed each day, and it's hard. It's taxing. It's laborious, but she knows. This is the, the, the straw that broke the camel's back, I have that cheesy expression. She knows eventually something is going to change in this power dynamic. There will be a power shift here, and she is that's what I mean. She's first in line. Everyone else has given up because it's been such a struggle. She's still there. She's like, the minute this guy retires or the minute this guy gets fired, I'm just going to be there like, oh, hello. Like, I've been here the whole time. I have all my documents, all my ducks in a row. Like, you are doing it, Libra. This, I actually love this message for you. Good things come to those who wait. Yes, it's about patience, but it's also about determination. It's about putting in the fight even when there are days where you want to give up and you're frustrated find reasons to keep showing up and really it does have to do with your own value and your own worth and understanding i have kick-ass ideas so it's almost not even worth it trying to prove it to this person anymore because they're one person of a million this person does not control your destiny you do and that's what the universe is trying to get you to see. you hold the light you hold the torch there and, and the way our eyes naturally are drawn to fire someone is going to see this and recognize like wow like this person is bringing their a game so this situation is temporary and i know that because this card says we're moving on from it and we're moving on from like rocky unstable waters things that are emotion like emotional upheaval things that are not consistent or a little bit uh, strange or fearful or whatever six of swords says we've made it past the confusion the uh the backstabbingness the the chaos of it all and we're on to smooth sailing we've made progress and any six is reason to celebrate that's what you're headed towards but i do have to say there's someone standing in your way who i'm not saying it's your job to um instigate uh giving them their karma or what's due to them i don't think that has anything to do with you i think you should leave that up to to god to source to the universe but this person does have something coming to them it's like they're they're gonna pay for for what's what's going on and i know this sounds like a dark revenge plot i'm not trying to make it that only i, I don't like this vibe and it's sort of coming up in, in two different spreads here so it, i do think it is a very important message for some of you and again i never do fear-based readings if none of this resonates libra this probably isn't your story or it's giving you a heads up at you know whatever your job is if you come across someone who is 
misusing power or who really is like a thorn in your side, it's almost like bypass them entirely. Don't don't spend your energy trying to win this person's approval or praise or whatever it is. It's just not worth your time. In fact, it's a waste of your energy. Um, yeah, you have great things, so make sure you're putting them, um, putting, it's like putting your contributions in the hands of people who will see it, the hands of people who really matter, who have that networking ability or could put you in a higher position. It's like you have to be strategic and you have to be smart, especially about who you're going to network with. You do have positive news coming in, so for any of my Libras looking for a job, I would say that this bodes very well. You get some sort of news about recognition or accomplishment or success, and maybe it's just, hey, join our team. We love what you do. We love your, we loved your document. We loved your presentation. We loved your resume, you know, whatever it is. I do think you get welcome to something new, and I think you would enjoy it. Um, and again, this is very important, something to do with homes or houses. It could be properties or helping people with their finances, with their mortgages, like financial advisors, or anything regarding the legal system, or, or if you're uh, part of some humanitarian event or getting um, very, very like politically active, politically involved, something about that all looks very good. All right, brand new message. Though, that's the thing, as much as I try for new messages, they are all sort of uh, related. I can just kind of tell. We're wrapping up the bullshit. Whatever we're holding on to or carrying around that we don't need anymore, we've reached the end. We don't have to deal with this. It's been laborious. It's been intensive. It's been like a bitch. Like, this isn't fun, but because it's a 10, we're wrapping it up. We won't have to carry around this burden much longer because, look, home is in sight, right? This almost indicates to me if you've been in a job where it's never quite felt perfect or it's never quite felt like at home, especially if you've been with people who it's like you never felt that like um, community type uh, work family vibe if you haven't experienced that it's like you're you're on your way to home you're on your way to a new environment that's going to feel like yes like this feels right like I was meant to be there someone who's really going to honor your contributions a lot of you are gonna move you're gonna take flight you're gonna travel to become the empress, to take some sort of job or leadership position where you won't have to work your way up, you won't feel like you're part of the rat race anymore because to be honest, it feels like you've already been playing that game for a while. I think, you're, yeah, there's offers coming in and I think at minimum, I would say for some of you, you're going to be offered a position where you are in charge alongside one other person. There's going to be like a, a collaboration or it could be a, a position or a company where there's two managers and you have equal say, you have equal right. There's two. For others of you, you may get two, I, I would say small-ish job offers, but I think they would be far more exciting than where you're currently at. It's, it's like a change of pace. It's something fresh. It's something new. Um, again, it may involve um, handling or working with money or other people's money, other people's property. It could even involve some sort of career involving the body or clothing. I don't know if it's, it, it could even be modeling, but it could also be something, a fabrication I heard. Um, but uh, like, I'm seeing like draping of clothing. It could be interior design, anything tactile that you can reach out and touch and physically do with your hands because it's an earth card. Earth can be something about your car, your home, your property, your possessions. It could be your, again, your physical body. Some of you may choose to be athletic trainers or do massage therapy, something where you're, you're touching or handling the body. Um, I hope that makes sense. I know I'm, I'm throwing a lot of random stuff at you. Um, I just sort of get random hits, so I got to tell you. Uh, working in like uh, anything environmental or, or uh, bio, uh, conservation biology, doing something in nature, uh, again, humanitarian type efforts, um, planting trees, preserving uh, species of animals, working in the rainforest. Again, some of you may do very unusual or atypical long distance travel where you in effect become like the earth mother. You're taking care of mother earth, of planet earth. That, and I mean, Libra, that's your car right the empress so doing anything involving like the preservation of our planet uh yeah these are heavy hitting cards very cool and again huge cards regarding travel it's sometimes a, a, a sagittarius card so again the hunter the archer out in the woods out in nature taking care of of uh mama earth there uh, this is a card of pregnancy too, so I don't know if some of you are going to be working with pregnant mothers or perhaps you are, are planning to start a family or or maybe you already have a family and you're expecting a new one. If that's the case, I would say it's coming right in. This usually indicates swift and rapid travel. Um, action, right? Wands. You may give birth to a Sagittarius baby if you're about to pop, right? Because Sagittarius is right around the corner, so... Um, all right, so let's talk about this a little bit more. I want to switch decks. <sighs> How are we doing for time? We're doing okay. 
The number 10 is important. I don't know if that's going to be a future address or a part of a, a paycheck, <laughs> $10,000 or I don't know. It could be, yeah, it could be an address or something on a license plate or, or an office number of your new building. It could be a mailbox. The number 10 is important for my Libras and it indicates the closing out of a cycle and, and hitting reset. It, it's about hitting like a restart, but it's beautiful. There's a sense of liberation and freedom, which in itself is sort of kind of like Libra-esque energy to me. Um, it's sort of to get to do what you've been striving to do. And I will say there's been struggle to do it. I feel like in November, there's huge strides towards getting there. Uh, and maybe getting there is just leaving something that's no longer fruitful or no longer fun for you. Or getting there could be starting to, I don't want to say climbing the ladder, but essentially like moving up towards that position that you've been gunning for or hoping for. There's absolutely shifts and movement and again in power positions. So if you have not been in a position of power where you're getting to uh, make decisions for the group or for, for the whole, for everybody's best and highest good, you start to work your way up towards that if that is in fact an interest of yours, okay? And, and I know this is completely random, but I am seeing stuff about arts and music. So writers and musicians, um, you may be writing a book or, or something about journal entries, diary entries. Maybe you're just manifesting this in your diary. Um, but anything with like brass instruments or jazz music. Some of you may have a, uh, a family member who is very involved in uh, like, yeah, bronze instruments or jazz, jazz. I don't know what this is. Jazz records, something like that. You may be picking up and learning a new instrument. Um, or something with piano. If you had a mother or a mother-in-law or someone who, who played piano, I don't know if you're finding her old piano book or you may be inheriting the grand piano. Some, I don't know what that is, but you'll know if it's your message. If anything, it's just, it's good. It's confirmations. Um, little surprise gifts from the universe, things you aren't anticipating or expecting, things start to come in for you because you've proven the, to the universe that you know what you're worth. You've proven to the universe that you have confidence and you should go out and conquer things and... Um, and should it's about reciprocity receive back what you've been putting into your hard uh your labor if that makes sense yeah there was a situation that kept you stuck and and usually this is a card of a mental prison for most of you it seems like someone else was sort of um keeping you stuck in a role it was like keeping you quiet i just heard hush money libra interesting careful careful with that but essentially even in metaphor the idea of hush money like just stay there like know your role know your place like shh it's not your turn to speak a lot of you are like oh what was that it's not my turn to speak and then you just like yeah here's the thing as much as this person i understand you could view it as they kept you silent or they kept you from stepping into your power essentially you do see that it was a false belief that you thought that they were keeping you stuck. Something happens. There's a shift where you're like, I don't need to carry around this truth anymore because it's not my truth. It, it's, it's not true. Again, putting all my stocks and investment in this one person that they're going to give me the raise or the promotion. You're like, no, you're done believing that or you're done putting your thoughts or your destiny handing off your power to someone who they don't know what to do with you. Again, they don't know their ass from their elbow. There's liberation here. Eights are about liberation. And that this is such a great like uh, depiction of it. You wrap up the idea that you're going to be stuck here forever, that you're under this person's control or almost like mind control. I know that seems absolutely crazy, but here's the thing. And I say this very sensitively. I, I don't mean to um, like judge or, or be critical, but you may have been in a very unhealthy relationship, like a toxic, like uh, like uh, marriage or an abusive narcissistic relationship where you thought that's all you could ever get. You know, it's like, well, at least I'm married. At least this is what I have. If that's at all you or used to be, I'm almost getting this is like a, a former chapter in your life because it's a pattern in your life, Libra, that keeps repeating. Your life destiny is about stepping into your power as one, as not relying on two, as breaking away from almost like your, I don't want to say curse, but stick with me here, of seventh house partnership. My life is about partnership. That's a beautiful skill you naturally have, but can, it can also be your burden. It can also lead to your demise because, and I'm not even saying you become codependent, but you become very set on the fact of it's not just about me, it's about us. Again, that's a beautiful skill to have, but it can also lead to you putting yourself in a corner, putting others before you. And I feel like a lot of my tarot readings for Libra are about, no, this is about you. Start loving yourself more. 
you liberate yourself to do whatever it is that you want. It's not about what other people think for uh, think about you or what other people want to do for you. This is about you coming into your power. Libra, this is a really cool reading. I'm, I'm into it. Especially, I see a lot of you doing public speaking, uh, standing in front of a group and speaking, and maybe that's teaching, maybe that's being a professor, maybe it's a, a political activism, maybe it's, um, I don't know, maybe you're doing stand-up comedy, Libra. I don't know what it is, but I, I see you taking the reins. You may take over some sort of a, a social media account uh, or a, a website for your business and something about it in a very Libra-esque way, you make it look beautiful. The way it's spread out, it's very pleasing to the eye. And something about that, like graphic design or the layout of a, a banner or a poster, it catches people uh, people's eye. So make sure you get credit for that because it could actually be a stepping stone in helping you to, to network with the right person or achieve some sort of recognition or success. Yeah, you have, you have a couple pages of cups coming in. Okay, so if you are looking for partnership and collaboration, these two seem like we're gonna, they're going to help. This could be someone you're working with who is a best friend from your childhood, specifically a water sign or an earth sign. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, I almost said Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I'm going to throw that in there. But water signs are Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So of those nine signs, right? Um, yeah, th this could be a dynamic duo because this is being clarified with the Page of Cups. So that says to me, these are not individual. These two go together. Birds of a feather flock together. Um, we go together. That reminds me of that song in, uh, in Greece, Sandy and Danny. Anyway, <laughs> as I ramble, these two go together. Again, best friends from childhood or any sort of career where you would be working with children or students, even in terms of if you are a teacher and teaching adults how to do this or showing them the way, giving people some new skill, you may have multiple clients coming to you specifically in groups of two as well. Um, you may end up having two children. For those who are pregnant, you may have twins. Um, yeah, those two go together. Um, so that's a really nice pairing, as is this in some ways. But this is also representing your nemesis. So, you know, these readings have mul are multifaceted, right? It's not to say this person is all bad and this person is all good. These can represent many different people in your life, but they are energies that are present. So just good to be aware of them. Yeah, two children or two students. Um, and it, again, it might just be working with groups of, of children or students. Um, it's, it's almost like you're... Uh, in influencing, inspiring a new generation of, of people of a new way to do things, an innovative way to do things or a new perspective. Again, through your word, through your spoken word, through your speech, through your writing, you're very influential. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, something about this collaboration, people are going to give you their money. I just heard here, take my money. Knight of Pentacles, it's like he's handing it off to the two of you. So there's one business partnership that is very annoying right now. There's another that is kick-ass, but it's lower on the tier. It's not kings and queens, so this might be a job where you're new. Um, and it, But it's not to say you're going to start off at the lower bracket. Even if that's the case, though, you're going to enjoy it a lot more. It's much more fun. It's much more satisfying. I think a lot of you are retiring something that's old and worn out. It's too traditional. They don't. It's, again, they're not, like, forward-thinking or they're not... I don't know if that's it. They're too conservative or they're too, they're not as innovative as they need to be in order to make more money. And you seem to have very good ideas, but they're falling on deaf ears. People won't hear it. So for a lot of my Libras, you're being encouraged to find someone who will hear it. Someone who does feel inspired by what you have to offer because you have great ideas that could take this business places, that could take this company places. So some of you may end up being entrepreneurs or independent contractors. You may end up doing what you hear but on your own, you know, under your own LLC or something like that. And there is a very good partnership around this. So, I mean, maybe this is leading us into love. Maybe this is the universe saying, talk about love. There is collaboration and partnership, though, and it does have to do with... Um, it does have to do with career and finances, though, because something about this, the two of you together, it could just be one deal that you collaborate on. People are like, yes, here's my money. I want what you're offering, okay? Let's throw one card on that and we'll switch to love. <clears throat> Yeah, then you have you have Page of Cups again and Knight of Pentacles. So uh, Earth signs and water signs. And again, cons uh, conservation of land or uh, clear uh, fresh bodies of water. I'm getting Earth and water. So in, in more than just Zodiac signs, that has to do with something you're involved in career-wise. Cleaning up the planet. Mama Earth. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. 
Expect for new doors to be opening, even in directions that you weren't anticipating. Expect that you're being led down the right pathway. So even if you've been at a company for 10 years and you're like, well, eventually I'm going to get promoted. Should you, I don't know, should someone reach out to you randomly or should you start to apply to things and hear back almost immediately? Expect that the universe is trying to get you to a new place where there's freedom, butterflies, there's liberation, there's ability for transformation. Butterflies are so symbolic of the Queen of Swords, right? It's, it's about freeing your mind, seeing things in a new way. This is beautiful. I love that this is what your business spread is ending on. The expectation is you're looking out the window like, eventually I'll get there someday when the path is right there. It's like you just got to turn it around and see. It may differ from the, the way you, the route you expected to be going down, but that's okay. It's going to be just as magical and more fun. There's going to be more curiosity and wonderment and more friends. Do you see those butterflies? I almost feel like that's symbolic of finding your work family or finding clients that truly appreciate you. Like, Almost like they, they want your nectar, the way like, uh, you know, birds feed off of flowers or something like that. Yeah, that could represent clients coming down your path, especially if you work in a more spiritual type career. All right, moving on to love. Interesting, Libra, interesting. I hope that helps some of you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Some of you are going to date a lawyer or somebody involved in, in like a legal career or a legal counsel, I heard. All right, moving on to love. Tell me about Libra's love life. These are going to be shorter messages because I typically do weekly love readings. So Libra's love life, please. Tell me about Libra's love life. Scorpio. More butterflies. So um, this is an unusual message. I want to relay it in a way that doesn't sound creepy because it's, it's a really beautiful message. It's not creepy at all. There is someone in your life who passed away. It could have been a, a father figure, a mother figure, a grandfather, any, anything like that. Uh, long since, like this would have been a, a while back. You meet a romantic partner and they have traits and qualities that remind you of that person who has passed. And I don't mean that in like an unusual, like in incestuous way. You know, I, I'm not trying to get at that, but there's something about their laugh. It reminds you of their, your mother or their, the way they have that little quirk, how they, you know, whatever they, they finick with their hair a certain way. It reminds you of, do you know what I mean? There's something about their, the qualities or traits of this person. It brings you flashbacks and really beautiful, warm memories of someone in your life who's no longer with us. And I think the whole point of that is saying that in a sense, it could be like a reincarnation from a past life. Um, it, it's a really amazing message, so I'm not trying to make it weird or anything, but it, it's kind of hard to describe. Um, but yeah, it's like the traits or the personality or the characteristics. It's not everything about them, but it's something small. It, it's like you treasure it because there's something so warm and so familiar about them. Uh, it's very likely a Scorpio. This person is single but may have children, specifically two children, possibly twins. Somebody in this dynamic may have red hair. <laughs> But you're, okay, so the only thing stopping this from uh, going places, being like a beautiful little relationship between you guys, is that you're still stuck on someone from the past. You're still hoping possibly a water sign comes knocking on your door, uh, a water sign comes back, a Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Okay, so here's the deal. This this is kind of, these messages are always difficult because I am trying to read with my authentic truth and give good guidance, but I also need to honor what the cards are saying first and foremost. So here's the, the deal. For some of you, if this truly is a water sign, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, especially a Scorpio, I have two confirmations of that. <clears throat> the whole thing of there's something very familiar about this person for some of you, it's because if you lost a Scorpio in the past, possibly because they were married and had children with someone else, they if they are truly single, and that's what this card is saying, nine of pentacles, like there's no husband, there's no wife, there's just children now, they may be coming back to rekindle something with you if you guys were high school sweethearts or college sweethearts or something like that. <clears throat> This is also saying, too, and this is a bit of a harsh message, so again, take it with a grain of salt. I'm just relaying it because I'm sort of seeing it. 
again, never predicting death on my channel. I don't do that. That's not what I'm saying. If you sort of had feelings for someone who, again, they you kind of severed ways and they went off and started a life and a family, if for some reason they were widowed or a widower, that may start again with you. Like they may come back if, again, if there's no spouse in the picture for one reason or another, right? This person may come back to rekindle something with you. And this says to me, it's like you've always kind of been waiting for them. So possible, right? It's possible for some of you. Uh, and you'll know if that's your message, right? The color emerald green is very important. I don't know if that's someone's last name, like so-and-so green, um, but the color emerald green I'm, I'm seeing. That makes me think of the Wizard of Oz, Emerald City. <laughs> so maybe that that's significant. Dorothy, is there a Dorothy out there? Um, yeah, anyway. Yeah, it, it, like, I, and I do have to be honest, this feels like for a lot of my Libras, whether you are male or female, if you are seeking a male coming back, that seems to be more confirmed for me. For a lot of you, it seems like a female is waiting on a male. Now, certainly it could be same-sex partnership, but yeah, it seems like the single husband or the, uh, or the single dad, however you want to say it, may be re-entering your life. And if it's not a water sign, it could also be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, give me, hold on, sorry. Let's throw a romance angel on that just to make sure my, I'm not leading you stray here. What's the deal with this, please? Again, I'm getting major Scorpio vibes. Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others and wedding, the situation involves marriage. Interesting, interesting Libra. All right, let's do new messages. That was actually really cute. I really like that message. And I, I'm going to be so honest. I always get kind of nervous when I have to be like, well, the ex is coming back. Because uh, that like, you know, makes my, the hair on my neck stand up like, oh God. <laughs> but hey, you know, life is complicated. Things happen. So good for you, Libra. If you manifested that person and they're good to you, then you go and be happy. All right. There's a victory with another Libra. There might be a marriage contract with another Libra or possibly a Leo. Yeah, definitely a Leo. Uh, and it, it's saying you already know who this is. This probably isn't a Leo who's new. But yeah, there's a Libra and a Leo and there's probably marriage. Oh, one of, one of my good friends, he's a Leo. And his girlfriend is a Libra. So hey, maybe they're getting married. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, I'm hearing single no more. There will be a peace offering, but it, it's going to bring uh, you peace of mind or vice versa to, you know, whoever is proposing, male or female. Uh, there's a peace offering of you two are, are together now. It, like it's been established. There's there's like, a, again, it's, it's bringing it to the next level. So if it's not a marriage proposal, it's a let's be exclusive uh, between a Leo and a Libra. Um, and it's possible that the Virgo was sent packing. If there was a Virgo in the mix, um, and I suppose it could be the opposite if there was at all third party type stuff, which I'm really not getting. In fact, I don't even want to muddy it with that because that's really not the message. I did see some Virgo energy, so it's possible that you have Virgo in your chart, Libra, if you're a cusper. For most of you, it had to do with a Leo. Um, and it could be that you're, okay, there could be a baby that is a Virgo or a child that is a Virgo. I think that's what it is. And I was going to say it was like third party, but not romantic third party. So, and again, that just might be confirmation if you're a Libra moon or a Libra rising or something like that. Oh, sorry, a Virgo, right? Or they are, right? All right, moving on. New message. New messages, please, for Libra in love. Yeah, there's a wedding. There's a proposal of marriage. I, I've, I'm seeing justice. I'm seeing four of wands. I'm seeing page of pentacles. That's like the shiny ring being proposed to me as a reader. So yeah, I'm seeing, and, and you did have this card too. So yeah, there's wedding planning for, for Leo and Libra. All right, so who are we wrapping it up? This is going to be a tough one, I can tell. This is going to be a tough love message because we're like, wrap that shit up. That's what it says. So let's see. Who do we pull the curtain on? That's all, folks. <laughs> da, 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 da. Who's the Looney Tune in your life? Who are we wrapping it up with? We're not getting anything out of it. It's been a bitch. It's been a burden. I just, I just kind of heard you haven't been with them that long. It's like, again, I'm laughing. Please don't take offense to this. But it's like, don't be a drama queen. Like, you just met this person. <laughs> like, it's not that big of a deal to let them go. Plenty of fish in the sea. All right, tell me about this. Oh, Libra, you're being sensitive. I can feel you guys. Like, I love them. I just heard, I just kind of heard, though, you haven't been with them that long. So, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah, Libra, this is bad. I'm sorry. This is bad already. I'm going to throw more on it, but... 
it's someone who's very defensive. They have their walls up. They're not letting you in. It's like, yeah, okay, no. Whatever this is, no. Absolutely not. These are... I'm going to say what I should never say, which is these cards are fucking terrible. Like, no, if this is, and especially if this is the start to a relationship, uh, major Sagittarius vibes. Uh, there's also a Gemini card here. There's a Scorpio card. It doesn't even have to be those, but this is the one who is impenetrable. They won't let their walls down. They're always playing victim mentality. They're always the victim. These are the two negative tens, if you will, of, okay, things didn't end the way I hoped, but at least it's over. The silver lining to these tens is like, at least we're done with it. We, we can seek new partnership. We can be out of a, a broken marriage or whatever it is. It, it's saying, though, there's like a lot of hardship and heartbreak regarding this issue. So it's like, we got to build the bridge and get over it and find new romantic partnership. Because it's not saying you're wrong, or I'm sorry, it's not saying all is lost with you. It's not saying you're unlovable. You didn't do anything wrong. It's saying it, it's time to look elsewhere, though, because the cups that you're... The thing is, I think you guys may not even be together, but you're still holding out a shred of hope for someone who really just doesn't treat you right. They treat you like the ball and chain. They treat you like baggage. And they're very hurtful. The things they say, it really hurts you deeply. Libra, that is not the one for you. Like, you deserve so much better than that. It could be a Cancer or a Pisces that's treating you that way. All right, new messages. New messages, please. Again, I'm getting a four of cups uh, in, it's like you've plateaued in waiting for a fire sign. Some of you may be waiting and waiting and waiting and hoping a fire sign comes back. Where are we at with that? They, tr they would potentially treat you well if they were to come in with uh, good intentions. Your mom likes this person. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. So for some of you who, who've been waiting on a fire sign, now you need to be yeah, like logical on this, right? Uh, if you feel like it could potentially go in a positive direction, Wheel of Fortune and the Empress says, yeah, there's, there's definitely potential there. There's even pregnancy, potentially unexpected pregnancy with your fire sign, especially if you guys have been trying on and off and it just kind of hasn't happened. I'm just putting it out there for a few of you. There may be some, some good luck, some good fortune there. Uh, especially with a Sagittarius. Okay, one more, one more message of love and we're going to close up for Libra. Libra's in love. Okay, the Cancer, who you're waiting on. Soulmate energy, someone from your past. They have options, especially a Gemini. Look for new love. Yeah, move forward looking for new love. Um, prove to yourself that you're not reliant on any one person. <clears throat> sometimes it's almost like you enjoy the struggle you subconsciously enjoy the 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 um cat and mouse you enjoy the chase only you're always the one chasing allow yourself to be the one who who's being chased in a playful way not necessarily trying to play hard to get because i mean who has time for that now right like I, i'm personally not into that but whatever but it's saying you do a lot of the chasing when's the last time someone chased you that's important libra that's when you know you're with the right one is when they will fight to be with you. They will put in the energy and the effort to offer you their love. They make their intentions known. I feel like this has been you towards other people, but then there's like it results in a lot of this. It's like you, you get the silent treatment. You know, she's not speaking. It's just like your texts go unread or your texts go unresponded to. Let someone come in with many messages and many texts and many phone calls and lots of praise and lots of I love you's and this and that. Someone who will put in the work and fight for you because you're the damn empress. Like you deserve it, right? And it goes to, it goes both ways. Love is a two-way street. But we know that you're putting in the work. Are they? That's really what you're being asked to, to question there. Um, possibly something with another Taurus, Libra, Sagittarius, water sign, and Capricorn. Yeah, love with the Capricorn. I'm liking that. That looks really good. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what resonates for you, and I will see you very soon for more tarot. Bye, Libra.